Hello YouTube, Mr. Evans here with my vlog number 109. Today is Monday and the time is 5.55. I'm done with all of my uh, prep work, well not all of my prep work, but all the prep work I'm going to do here. Uh, so I'm going to be heading home after this, which is kind of nice, be out before 6.30. Um, wow, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, good to good to be back. Well, you know, good to be talking to you again. And you know, yeah, it's it's good to be back. You 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 settle right into it. But it also feels like it's it's been a while. Um, to check in about the day, um, today was good. There were rough moments in it, sure. Um, but I think that they felt rougher only because it's the first day I've had like this since we've. And back. Uh, since we, what am I talking about? Since we left, you know, it's the first, it's the first day back. Um, so there's bound to be more frustrating moments. And you know what? There were frustrating moments even um, during break. You know, they, they, they happen everywhere. I won't talk about them right now. All I will say is that I had a great time during break, did a lot of fun stuff, tried to relax a little bit, um, did a couple of new things, things I've wanted to do for a while. Got acupuncture <laughs> for the first time. It's kind of an interesting experience. Um, yeah, so uh, all in all, good, uh, good break, and now we're back, and today was good. Let me read you the wonder quote of the day, because this is sort of an interesting one. Um, today's wonder quote is, keep a green tree in your heart, and a singing bird may come. And that's apparently a Chinese proverb. Um, I do want to talk about this, um, because the thing is, I believe this quote, but that word, a singing bird may come. That part's important, I think. Uh, as teachers, we try to stay positive, right? And this is, I, I feel like a lot of my vlogs take this tone where I'm like, well, we try to live this. But um, this is something I have kind of talked about before. Uh, and I think it really applies in this particular scenario because what I'm talking about is, you know, we, we try to be positive as teachers, but I think sometimes it's important to remember that having a positive attitude, having a positive outlook, trying your best, um, doesn't guarantee that a bird will, will, will come, that a singing bird will come. It doesn't guarantee it. Um, doesn't guarantee that students are going to love that lesson you planned. Doesn't guarantee that, um, you know, you're, you're going to be popular or liked. Uh, and at times like that, I think there's a real risk of being disheartened. And so my take on it is <clears throat> I try to keep in mind something that I believe I've mentioned on this vlog before. Um, but it was something that got said to me, I think my first year, by another teacher who was here, who said, um, divorcing yourself from results, right, uh, is, is important. Not that results don't matter, it's just that that's not what we should really base our opinion of um, a good job on. Um, you don't get the results you want, that may mean that you need to adjust things, but that does not mean that your attempt was a failure. The way she put it was really good. She said, you put in your best effort. You, you, you do the best you can. You do everything you can on your end. And then if it doesn't work out the way you want to, that doesn't mean that you did anything wrong. It just, you know, you, you, sometimes, you know, results are going to be what they're going to be. And, you, you know, you have to separate yourself a little bit from that. And I think that this is important, right? Just because I keep that green tree in my heart does not mean that that singing bird is gonna come. But if I don't try, if I don't work towards success, if I don't try the best that I can, then it can't happen. I can't find success. And so I think that this is something that we do as teachers a lot. We work, we work hard, and we see signs of our failure all over the place, but we keep working hard, you know, which is um, something that I think is perhaps a little unnatural. Perhaps the natural thing would be to say, okay, well, I'm not going to try as hard because it's not working. Um, it's not working anyway, you know, as opposed to what we do, which is, 
I, I'm going to keep doing the best that I can. And, and we have to do that, right? Um, and the example I have for today uh, is today, first day back from break, I decided right now is a great time to implement a new seating chart um, with the classes that, that needed it. Because I've been trying to do one for a while and I just kind of never really found the time. But um, this week, today, new seating chart. And going into it is always nerve-wracking for me. I always get nervous right before I do a new seating chart to the point where, like, with one of my classes, part of me was like, do I even want to do it? Like, I made the seating chart. I have it right here. I'm holding it in my hands, but do I want to just set it aside and, and not do it? Because it's always nerve-wracking. Students are always unhappy. There's always um, a fuss. But I fell back on a... Uh, sort of a, a mental trick that I made up in my second year on a day when I remember this, I was biking to school and I remember exactly the intersection where it happened. I'm biking and the whole time I can feel my stomach roiling because I'm just like, I'm gonna need a new seating chart. And that, that year was, I had students that just did not, they were just not happy with, uh, with, with the way I was doing things and I was just like, they were gonna be so unhappy with the seating chart and it's not gonna go well and they're gonna fight me and they're gonna, they're gonna refuse to do their work. And I said to myself, I, I need to not worry about this because I'm going to do it. Like, like, that's what it was. It was like, look, I'm going to do it. That's what the plan for today. We're going to do a new seating chart. And I can't be so hung up on what the results might be that I um, ha experience all this worry because I'm going to do it. And it's going to happen. And if it is a mess, then fine. It's a mess. It is what it is. But... I can't be connected to that result. I need to just tell myself that is the plan for today, it is happening, and it's either gonna be a good experience or it's gonna be a bad experience, but it does not change the fact that it is going to happen. Um, and so I kinda of had to say that to myself today a couple of times. This new seating chart's gonna happen, and the results will be what they will be. But I know that this is what is needed right now. So I'm gonna do it. Um, and I think we're called on, uh, on t as teachers to do that a, a lot, to just put forward our best effort, keep that green tree growing, and hope that it connects with some people. And as we talked about before break, I, I think that's happened, so I'm happy about that. Let me share with you a few things that made me smile today, um, and then we'll, we'll end the vlog. Uh, first of all, um, I did eat lunch outside today, which is always nice, but today, um, because the lunches were kind of uh, swapped, uh, there were some uh, teachers who normally don't have lunch at the same time as me that did today, and one of them asked, you know, it's okay if I eat with you, and I said, yeah, absolutely, and so we ate up, we sat outside, we ate together, it was just really cool um, to have that, you know, social experience while also being able to, to be outdoors in the sunlight. Um, both things are, are elements of keeping yourself happy. So. Um, another thing was, oh, uh, this was kind of a nice, just, I don't know, before break, um, I had found, um, there, there was a student who uh, wanted to, so one of the class rewards you can get in my class is a class DJ ticket, where you get to pick the song that plays during the do now. And you have to tell me what song it is far enough in advance that I can check the lyrics, make sure they're clean. And this one uh, student had, his top choice was Bad to the Bone, and then there was like a 22 next to it. And I was like, okay, so 22 is something. And so I look it up, and it was um, an instrumental track. And I was like, that's actually kind of unusual. Um, usually students want a song, and usually it's like not a clean <laughs> song with the, the lyrics, and I have to fight it. But um, it's cool that this one's instrumental. Um, but then I asked him about it today, and it turned out it was not 22. It was ZZ. ZZ Top. Bad to the Bone by ZZ Top. Like, the classic. It's just really cool to see a student of today's generation interested in, like, some classic music, you know? He ended up picking a different song to play. Um, his second choice, he was like, actually, that second choice is my first choice. But I had checked that one in advance, and it was clean. So, um, really, just really cool. Um, still, that he was like interested in uh, in the classics. I was like, yeah, way to go, man. And the last one, this really made me smile. Today, uh, we started reviewing 
Um, and one of the exercises we did was uh, speaking practice. And so uh, once, you know, the way I do it is like, I didn't do an individual practice where like each student had to speak up, but it was like, I just want them to kind of be aware of what kind of answers you could give um, when, we're, uh, when we're doing speaking questions. And so I uh, gave the students an opportunity to speak up. And one student who never speaks up, like, I don't think I've heard her voice this year. She spoke up. And the answer she gave was spot on. She's a great student. She's just a quiet student. But today, she stepped outside of her comfort zone and it paid off. I shared her answer with everybody because, of course, she's still a little quiet. That's, that's fine. It's normal. You know, you can speak quietly and still be a, be a, you know, a good student. And she definitely is, but it was really cool to see her step outside of her comfort zone. That really made me happy. So those are my three things that made me smile today. Um, this vlog has gone on for a little bit uh, longer than I intended, but don't they always? You have a great rest of your day, YouTube. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye, YouTube.